text. Alright, a desk, a filing cabinet, a chair. No, okay, right, forward. Put down. Where will this cabinet go? Put Today's that there. Put it in there. Uh, there. Alright, back. Oh, what am I doing? Next. Oh. Okay, I completely did the wrong thing there. Right, next. Oh, what? Ah. Right, next, again. Okay, I have to put down something. Oh, there's a I have to put down the door, right. Next. Right, filing cabinet, where will I put this? There. And as far as it goes for the chair, that can be put... What can that be put, actually? Right, forward. No Employee doctor. Right, so, yeah, you. Superb stamina just keeps going. Alright, so let's give you that higher and put you in the GP's office. Make your hospital more attractive by placing some amenities. I'll put a drinks machine. Uh, or well, one drink machine will do, to be honest. Sorry, so since it's only a demo, I I'll put the drink machine. Where will I put it? Put it there. Build a general diagnosis room. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, there we are. And general diagnosis, which will be right here. And place a door. I'll put that there. Next. A screen. Well, I put that there. In the crash trolley, I will put. Oh, where will I put this? There. Staff members are reminded to rest frequently. Build a pharmacy. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna quit the demo. I just, I got pretty bored of that easily. I mean, uh... yeah, that's all the the features on the the full demo. Build a one year in the hospital. Research amazing cures and treatments. And yes, similar to the theme park world right there, except you're just building a hospital, you're giving them treatment. Alright, that, that should be the end of the demo. Yes, it is. Okay then, so... I don't know if that was very long, that demo, but I apologise if it has been... A bit long. Sorry for if it, if it was long. Okay then, so... Next demo is Tommy Mackinnon. I think this is a rally game? Yes it is indeed, I can see that on the front of the demo disc. And... If I remember, did this rally game not look similar to Sega Rally? Alright, Tommy Mackinnon Rally. Europress. Alright, loading. There's a Mitsubishi uh, rally car. Alright, arcade. 
Hey, what car will I go? I'll go the standard uh, Mitsubishi car. So I start this. So at the course, USA Desert. This actually looks pretty similar, in my opinion, to the uh, Sega Rally games for the arcade machines. I always remember playing them when I was younger. Oh, right. Uh, this it actually sounds like an arcade game as well. Okay, the position keeps changing constantly, right? Oh. Yeah, the controls are a bit sensitive in this. Well, they're a mix between... Alright, where am I? I'm in second place. Check my... Oh! Sorry about that, mate. You just collided for me, but he ended up getting the unfortunate end. He ended up crashing. Alright then, very good. Two minutes of... Or, sorry, two minutes. Two minutes. Two seconds, 56. Oh no. Right. Okay, um, uh, that guy's right behind me, so I need to pick up the pace a bit. Let's get a checkpoint. Oh no, great. I flipped over, right. And I'm back, and I'm down the last place, great. That's what I get for driving too fast. You fail to qualify, retry. No, I'm not going to retry. Otherwise I'm going to be there all day, trying to qualify for something that's just, that's just a demo. Or something on the demo, and it's not really worth it if it's just on the demo. If it was the full game, then if it was the full game, then well, there's well, then I would try again to qualify. But since it's not the full game, I will not be doing it. Nothing plays better than Tommy Mac and the Rally Price. I would have been forty pounds back then for a PS One game. Yeah, can you imagine how much a PS Four game, uh, sorry, PS One game would be today? probably free by the sense of it and like well they wouldn't even exist in proper shops anymore you only get PlayStation 1 games now off of the PlayStation Store and uh, eBay well the PlayStation Store is mainly where you get PS1 games nowadays but I mean eBay sometimes uh, provide PlayStation 1 games alright total driving what do we have here oh, it's, a, it's another driving game of course Press start. And I'll just go with that. Oh, Scotland. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see if there's anything I recognise on the track. Oh good, it's actually displays the controls here. That's one thing that I mentioned about these demos is that sometimes they display the controls, sometimes they do don't display them. For example, like in Demo 1 version 4 that I did, or the, yeah, the Demo 1 version 4, it displayed the controls for, uh, before I played the demo, so for example, like Crash Bandicoot, or me, well not, I needed to know the controls of Crash Bandicoot, but it would tell you the controls, okay, here's how to move Crash, here's how to, well, uh, make him jump, spin, all that kind of, kind of stuff. Try to see if there's anything I recognise on this track since this is, this is Scotland after all. And oh, this one actually is a bit better than the Tommy Mackin Rally, if I were to say. Total driving. All right, this guy's right behind me. I oh, know it's a bit dirty driving on my part. Oh, great. And as soon as I say that, I just get, well, not annihilated, but I get swept to the side. Oh, bit of a jump there. Oh, that's right on top of the car. The sound effects in this remind me of Rallycross for some reason from the one of the previous demos that I covered. Except this isn't Rallycross. It's nowhere near Rallycross looking at it. It looks, looks a bit like Test Drive except it's a bit slower than Test Drive.
Oh, going down a big hill here. I don't think there was any monuments. There's, there hasn't been any monuments in this track that I saw for for this track anyway. At least I don't think there's been. I'm not sure if that's like a castle in the background. It seems like it's just a local uh, Scotland village. New lap record, I in third place. Oh, this is the final lap. I take it those are those Highland cows in there. Well, I see a lot of uh, farm and traffic. Oh, I actually heard uh, the the cows mooing there. Other people cheering in the background. Oh, I'm catching up to the, the guys in second and first place. Make way for the yellow car. For it is yellow in this purple. Oh, great. And as soon as I say that there's another yellow car right there. Is that? No, it's not the same one as me. No. It's a bit yellowish, but not totally yellow. jump. Okay, I'm getting used to the controls on this, which is actually really good. And it's totally awesome, this game. Will, no, maybe not totally awesome, but it's good. Quite good this, I'm enjoying it. And like I said before, uh, once I finish covering these demos, I'm going to be doing a, like, what am I going to be doing? A top 10 PS1 demos of all time, which means I'm going to have to look back through the demo videos to see which ones were the best and which ones weren't, so I'm going to have to like put them up against each other like one-on-one -on -one to see which, which demo was the best one that I played uh, out of all them for Let's Plays. Instead of doing a review on each and every one of them, because that would just take ages, I'll do like a top 10 video on, the, on my favourite PlayStation 1 demos and go through them one by one and say, okay, here's what I like about it, here's what I possibly dislike about it. Oi! So I won that race. Winner, total time, 4 minutes 8. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. The What was that? Was that not? No, that wasn't Scotland the Brave. No. That wasn't Scotland the Brave. We played that. I heard the bagpipes playing there. Oh, this one has actually got some pretty good ratings here, and I, I, to be honest, I don't really blame the magazines for giving this good ratings, because, I mean, it's really good. I mean, I really enjoyed that driving game. I right, what's next? I've forgotten now. Ah, Treasures of, Treasures of the Deep. Now, this seems like it's going to be an interesting game. I'm not sure what exactly lies ahead for me in this game, but I'll find out. Now, I will be covering another demo, or recording another demo, straight after this. And it's going to be a special demo, because the next demo is quite special. Oh, that's the old Namco logo. That's the one that they used for Tekken 1. Black Ops Entertainment. Oh, great. Call of Duty Black Ops Entertainment. I'm just kidding, of course. It's not Call of Duty Black Ops. Treasures of the Deep. Alright, so let's start this. In 1641, a brutal hurricane sunk the Spanish galleon Concepcion. I'm going to turn this up a bit. I show my headphones. She went down with a wealth of Vatican gold and religious artifacts, making the site a target for underwater pirates. Your dive objective is to retrieve the ruby-studded Vatican Cross and destroy all the pirates' cargo subs. This region is home to the Hammerhead Shark. Use your nets to keep them at bay. Okay then. So basically retrieve like a... Eliminate pirate, pirate cargo subs, retrieve Vatican Cross, which I'm assuming is a treasure. Okay then. Right, how do I change the view? Or how do I even move? Oh, R wants to move. Right then, that's good to know. Net selected. Right then, so 
I need to keep an eye out for the hammerhead shark. This looks pretty cool, this. Like, underwater may not be the best looking, but still. It may not be the best looking, obviously, but still. Looks pretty good. Oh, well, I've spotted something. What do we have here? Okay, I just went completely around in a circle. Ah! Oh great, was that jellyfish? Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. I spy with my little eye the hammerhead shark. It seems like it. Oh great. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Right, hammerhead shark. Okay, I took a bit of damage there from the jellyfish and also from the hammerhead shark. Uh, I think that's another one there I saw. Oh, great. Right, okay, let's see if I can chase them down. Oh, picked up a golden... Oh. Oh, great, my health is running low. That's not good. I was just too amazed by this game and this underwater detail uh, that I'm running low on health. Oh, just missed that match. Oh, where is he? Oh no. And, okay. Okay, I can't capture that. Oh no, right, go. Just swim, go, or, or drive away. Right, what's that? Oh, health. Thank goodness. Medkit. Oh, I need another one to name as well. Okay, good. The demo isn't over yet. Thank goodness with that. I'm actually enjoying this so far. Oh, there's some gold coins. There's another diver there. Another few golden coins. Too bad they don't contain chocolate. I'm just kidding, of course. I mean, they're, they're real golden coins, of course. Treasures of the deep. It'd be an actual con if it was chocolate coins. Oh god, right. What's damaging me now? You again, the jellyfish. Oh, is that another diver? Right, I'm going to take him out. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that. I actually aimed like. Alright, where is he? That. That air tank. Oh, there's a hammerhead shark. Alright, where'd he go? I ran into him, but now he's just disappeared. Torpedo, right. I didn't know. Get in there, I'm gonna get that shark. There we are. Call ya. Ah, what the? What tagged me from behind? Ah! But there we go. Oh no, I've got one health left. Right, I need to find health like right now. Or I'm gonna die. If I can't find any health anywhere, I might as well just say, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna accept death. <laughs> 